Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about one of the important second PUC uh, 12th class lab experiment. The name is parallel combination. So while doing this experiment, we need some of the important components. Those are like, you know, the conducting wires. These are the important wires. Okay. And here is the jockey. Jockey is important for the slide on the meter bridge. Here is the meter bridge. Okay. This is the one of the important component of this experiment. Okay. And here is the battery eliminator. Okay. So which is here, which is usually connected to the four volts. Okay. And here are the resistance coil. One is one ohm coil and another one is the three ohm coil is here. Okay. And the galvanometer. Okay. And the red of the galvanometer is represents the positive and the black one is negative and here is the resistance box this is called variable resistance box so which we can basically vary from 1 ohm to 50 ohms so up to maximum means the standard of this resistance box is 50 ohms so how much ever the ohms we require we can remove from this okay all right so let us start the connection step by step let us take one connecting wire okay so here is the connecting wire so i'll start from the here is the red is taken as positive i'll start from the positive part of the battery eliminator so we'll start from here okay and we'll directly take to the terminal a of the meter bridge okay and Another conducting wire which is taken from the negative here the black is represents the negative so I'll take from the negative of the battery eliminator so just wrap it for one round so just make it tight like this okay next okay so here is the cutter so cutter basically used to trim the wire conducting wire okay so now what I'm going to connect is connect is so here is the how the plug key which is basically used for the connecting the you know the circuit so here is the plug key is there so in this plug key there is no positive and negative okay so either so here is the positive negative there is no positive negative i can connect wherever i want okay and another end i am going to connect here Okay, we can connect like this and this end I will directly take and I will connect to the next terminal C of the meter bridge. Okay, and I will close this. If you want, you can keep it open, no issues. So, I will close this like this. Okay, make sure that is tight. Alright, now I will take this and I will connect here okay what i will do i'll connect one terminal of the resistance coil okay from the same end i'll take one more conducting wire and i'll connect it here okay and this free end i'll take to the another end of the resistance coil 3 ohm i'll connect it here okay and another conducting wire i'll take it from here and i'll connect to this end okay and tight it like this next take the another conducting wire okay you keep it ready and from here and i'll connect it to the here and you can see this connection here this is done so this is basically called as a parallel combination okay all right next our important part is the galvanometer here okay i'll take the conducting wire okay and this wire i'll connect it here okay i'll tight like this and another end of the galvanometer wire is connected to the jockey jockey is the sliding contact here all right 
and another wire I'll take from here. That is the negative of the galvanometer. And I'll connect here. All right, this is done now. Okay, next one what I will do, I'll take from here. Now, from here, okay, I need to take it and I need to connect to the resistance box like this. Okay, this is the last final connection. So, this connection also over now, right? All right, now here is, here is the key. Key is basically used to turn off and turn on the circuit. Battery eliminator is there and two resistance coils are connected here and our galvanometer is there and our jockey or sliding contact is there all right everything is connected properly now what i will do i'll turn on the circuit okay i'll turn on the circuit okay now the circuit is ready so let us check whether the circuit connection is right or wrong now i'll keep the jockey at one end of the meter bridge so now we can see here there is a deflection okay now i'll keep the jockey in the another end of the meter bridge so again there is a opposite deflection when you keep the meter bridge on the right side the galvanometer will deflect to the left when i keep on the left the galvanometer will show to the right side deflection so hence i can say that the circuit connection is perfectly all right now i have written already here we can see this this is called as tabular column the trial number one two three will take three trials and resistance s in ohm okay the balancing length l in centimeter then 100 minus l in centimeter and rp okay the resistance in parallel combination that is sl divided by 100 minus l this formula we have to use and observation part resistance r1 is taken as 1 ohm and resistance r2 is taken as 3 ohm that i have taken from here that is 1 ohm is here 3 ohm is here all right now by using our basic formula r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 right so now 1 into 3 is 3 and 1 plus 3 is 4 so now i'll take the calculator don't do any mind calculation so 3 by 4 will give us 0 0.75 ohm okay this is a theoretical value absurd value now what i will do i'll remove one ohm from our resistance box okay i have just removed one ohm key and let me note it down here one ohm okay now i'll take the jockey and i'll start sliding from here i'll start here i'm sliding on the meter bridge wire okay let's keep sliding like this and meanwhile we can observe that there is a deflection on the zero deflection right hold on one second let's come back from here again and here while sliding here we can see here our galvanometer shows zero deflection now the reading is 35 here so the balancing length is taken as 35 then 100 minus 35 which is taken as here 100 minus 35 that is 65 i'll note it down now again we'll go back here i'll remove 2 ohm so we'll close this okay now 2 ohm i have removed again take the jockey and slide on the meter bridge see now again it is showing here 29 so on the meter bridge it is 27 and the galvanometer is shows zero deflection so here i can say that i remove 2 ohm and the 27 right so now that is 27 100 minus 27 will give us what 73 right now what i will do again we'll come back here we have already removed 2 and I will remove 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3 ohm. Now I'm, I have removed in the third trial is 3 ohm. Again we will take the jockey and we will sl slide on the meter bridge wire. Now our 
the galvanometer is shows zero deflection correct so and the reading is exactly 22 22 cm now again take use the formula 100 minus 22 will give us 78 now what i will do by using this formula we will do the calculation s into l s is how much here 1 ohm and l is 35 so 35 into 1 divided by 65 so that is so 35 divided by 65 will give us 0 0.5 ohms you have to write the unit here okay in the second trial again s into l s is taken as 2 ohm and l is 27 okay so that is 2 into 27 divided by 100 minus l that is 73 so now use the calculator 27 into 2 divided by 73 will give us 0 0.7 ohm and in the third trial anyways the formula is here so rp equals s into l s is 3 ohm l is 22 so 22 into 3 which is taken as 66 divided by 78 divided by 78 which is taken as 0 0.8 ohm now what i will do okay rp equals what here we'll take the mean of all the three readings 0 0.5 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 whole divided by 3 now let's add 0 0.5 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.8 equals divided by 3 the answer is 0 0.6 ohm right here we got it what the theoretical value we got it here as 0 0.75 ohm and experimental value we are getting as 0 0.6 ohm so hence it is proved so here rp is 0 0.75 is the theoretical value and experimental value after doing the experiment we are getting 0 0.6 it's close to 0 0.7 hence we have proved the parallel combination by using the meter bridge all right thank you very much if you have any doubt you can post me the uh, comment section in the co comment section kindly share with your friends and other groups thank you very much